The newspaper salesman drove into town in his shiny black 56 Buick with its egg-shaped portals on the sides of the hood. The kids were ready. A flyer had gone around school telling them that the meeting on telling them of the meeting on Saturday morning in front of Johnny's shoe and harness shop. How you doing, the stranger said as he got out of his car, nodding to the group of ten evenly split between boys and girls. You all come for the grit meeting? The boys and girls nodded. Well, good. I'm in the right place then. The tall man had shiny black hair, combed back, a little scar on his shaven chin with a nose larger than most, supporting oval wire rim glasses. He wore a fancy looking black pinstripe suit and a white shirt with red, white, and blue, uh, red, white, and blue tie sprinkled with stars. His black shoes were spit shined in a mirror reflecting perfection. Gary leaned toward his friend, Homer, his voice low. What's with this guy, Homer? I don't trust him. He's a guy, look at this, he says. Only undertakers and, and men going to funerals and weddings wear a suit during the week. <laughs> I don't trust this guy. <laughs> oh, fooey, Gary. Just listen. Yes, sir, boys and girls, gather around, gather around. This is your lucky day because we got things to talk about and we got prizes to win. The salesman herded the group toward the front of his car. He leaned back in the hood. He held up the newspaper, its pages ruffling in the wind. So what am I holding here? A newspaper, everyone yelled. A newspaper. Right, but not just any newspaper, is it? He looked at Frankie, whose mouth was open with, and drool was dangling from his lips. You kid, what's your name? Uh, Frankie? Okay, Frankie, tell me, what's the name of this newspaper? He tapped the banner on the top of the paper. Frankie squinted. As usual, he wasn't wearing his glasses. Ah, uh, Gerd, that's close. Kids, tell me, what is this newspaper? Kids, Gerd, no, no, grit, grit, right, it's grit, everyone shouted. Yes, it's grit, America's greatest number one newspaper, the greatest of all family newspapers. He looked back at Frankie, his mouth still open, the drool still falling and his eyes now crossed and vacant. <laughs> grit, Frankie, got it? Grit. Uh, yeah. The grit man stood and then he paced back and forth and he stopped his arms wide as if to hug them. Boys and girls, grit is America's greatest family newspaper. And when your family and friends begin to read it, they will thank you because they won't be able to put it down. Every week, it'll bring the world into their living rooms. Won't that be exciting? Yes, indeedy. Grit. What is it I'm talking about? Grit, the kids said. He smiled, pleased. He tapped the newspaper with his index finger. He leaned toward the group of girls. What's your name, little girl? Margaret Mary. Well, sweetie, some people might think that grit has the same old news, right? He looked at the group. Right, group? Right, the kids responded. He looked back at Margaret Mary. But it's not the same old news, is it, young lady? He didn't wait for a reply, moving on to the boys, slowly moving his arms as if orchestrating a band concert at the summer park, at the park in summer. Some people would think grit is gossip. But is it? No. He stood in front of Philip. Is it, Philip? Is it gossip? Philip stood. No, you're right. It's not gossip. Instead, it's fresh news and new news. Fresh and new news. That's what I'm talking about. News that will take you out of the humdrum. It'll take you out of the ordinary. It'll take you out of the mundane, mundane of 1957. And it will take you into... It will zoom you into the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. And dare I say it, it'll take you into 2000. <laughs> the kids sat back quietly. Frankie, Margaret, Mary, and friends, grit will be the news that you and your friends won't want to miss out on because it is the future. Yes, the future. And it's news with photos that you won't want to miss. 
photos of people, photos of places, photos of personalities, pictures from all across this great United States of America. He stood up. He saluted the flag flying at the top of the green elevator across the street. Billy knew, uh, uh, Homer knew that Billy, the elevator manager, had put up that flag in honor of the World War II veterans. He wondered if Billy would subscribe to Grit Magazine because it was America's number one newspaper and if he should go all over there and check with him afterwards. Yes siree, youngsters, I'll guarantee you that reading Grit will leave you and yours with a warm feeling in your tummy and a fluttering in your heart. And what's more, research, yes I say research, research has shown that reading grit will increase your intellectual capacity. Do you know what I mean? I mean it will make you smarter. It will increase your I, it will increase your Q, that's right, your IQ. And who wouldn't want to be smarter, right Frankie? Uh, I guess. I guess so is right, young man. Now remember, the stories in Grit are all pure, all American, all chock full of people just like you and me and family just like yours and mine. And you, kids especially, you will find that Grit is chock full of stories about other people just like you, kids you know or want to know. And because I want you to know these kids, do you know what I'm going to do for you today? I am going to give you free a copy of last week's Grit Magazine newspaper. Yes, I am. Remember, it's the greatest family newspaper, and you're going to get a free copy. The kids smiled. It's something free. So boys and girls, what are we here to sell? What do I want you to sell in Elmwood? I want you to sell what? Grit, they all said, they all shouted together. Grit Magazine, that's right kids, Grit. And finally, and most importantly, with Grit, America's greatest family newspaper, what you're going to get if you sell these subscriptions is happiness, happiness. Because you are selling Grit Magazine, the magazine and the newspaper of happiness. It's the gritty happiness that we want to spread all around this small town of Elmwood. He passed out the magazines, or he passed out the newspapers to the kids, and he began to sing. Prizes, we have prizes. We have many, many prizes. And the kids looked their mouth open and wide. Wide-eyed, I mean. They wanted to win a prize. So the story goes on. The kids are recruited to sell Grit newspaper, America's number one family newspaper. And Homer gets himself a genuine U.S. Army backpack used in World War II, but it's not very good. And it breaks right away. And he decides that truly this guy was kind of a con man. Mm -hmm.